Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. This is a very short tutorial because all I want to talk about in this video is how much care we need to take when we are reading scale on things such as thermometers or on the sides of graphs. Let's just take a look at these four diagrams here. They're all thermometers and they're all measuring temperatures in degrees Celsius. Have a look at the first one. It starts, as you might expect, at zero and the scale goes up the side of a thermometer here. So we can see two, four, six, eight, ten. What we need to be careful of, of course, is that this scale, as is common with an awful lot of scales, does not have every number written on there. So, for instance, the number one, the number three and five and so on are missing from the scale. So when we are looking to read the temperature on the scale, in this case, it comes to here, there is no number. Therefore, we have to look at the numbers either side, eight and ten. What number falls in between eight and ten? It is nine, because in this scale, one square is one degree. Now compare that to the second one here. We have a scale and it is going up, but if we look at it, it starts at zero in exactly the same way as the other one did. But if we say that was one, two, three, four, that would mean that this would have to be five. And it isn't, it's 10. So something different is going on with this particular scale. And that's where you need to be careful. In fact, if we look at this, from naught to 10 goes up in just five squares. That means that each square must actually be worth two degrees, two, four, six, eight, ten. So when we come to read this thermometer, which is up here, we know that each small square is worth two. So that is 20, that must be 22. Therefore, the temperature on this scale is 24 degrees. This one is far more like the first one in that each square goes up in ones, therefore one, two, three, four, and then the five. But again, not all the numbers are there. So when we are reading the temperature here, we have to be aware it's going up in ones, five, six, seven, that must be eight degrees. Now the last one, and it is one we have to consider, the zero is actually in the center there because this thermometer doesn't just measure positive temperatures it measures minus negative temperatures as well therefore we have to be even more careful when we are reading the scale now again this goes up with a gap then a two then a gap then a four so we know that the odd numbers are missing Therefore, the same has to be true as we go down the scale. So if that's zero and the next one down is minus two, this one must be minus one. And to read this temperature, we have to fill in this one, which is minus three. So the lesson here really is be careful when you are measuring or reading a scale such as this. Make sure you have worked out what each square is worth, one or two or maybe even something different before you actually read the scale. And the last note, we're talking here about scale for temperatures on thermometers. Exactly the same rules are true when you are looking at the scale at the sides of a graph. And there you go. A simple tutorial emphasizing that when we look at scale, we need to make sure we understand where the numbers are and what the boxes mean before we start taking measurements with them. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed. Please hit the subscribe button and put any comments at the bottom. Thank you.